Hi everybody, welcome back to Be Unique. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome. This is Be Unique. Let's get started. How to take care of your skin after makeup aftermath, after wearing makeup. So yeah, that will be the topic. I think that's really important. What you're going to do, you're going to take off your makeup like normal, but you're going to take off your makeup with moisturizing makeup remover or makeup wipes. The one that I highly recommend, it's actually two that I recommend, but the ones that I highly recommend and I use for myself is Neutrogena and it's the makeup remover cleansing towelette. And also comparable to this or a dupe for this, I should say, would be the e.l.f. Um, makeup remover wipes and it's only three dollars a pack so you want to make sure you're taking everything off like um, eyelashes extra eyelashes you have like fake eyelashes and every makeup like around your ear your hairline your neck your chest everywhere that makeup might have been if not just wipe it anyway and keep it moving and so after you take off your makeup with the makeup wipes of course your face is not clean it's still dirty so you still can't fall asleep so what you're going to do is you're going to grab your favorite cleanser and mine at the moment I fluctuate, fluctuate between two of these is uh, actually three Dermalogica, Philosophy, and Skin. Depending on the day these are two cleansers they're both by skin and one is for the morning and one is for the night time. Dab some of my hand like normal and wash my face. <clears throat> this is just to take off the makeup the first time. To take off the makeup that the the wipes couldn't take off so then you go back with a second cleanser and you cleanse your skin thoroughly you want to make sure you're really getting into your skin not like you know you're just rubbing it around for like a second and then wash it off you want to make sure you're really getting into your skin into the areas of where the makeup may have been so everywhere around your face your neck and your chest and around your ears you want to make sure you're scrubbing or you're rubbing your skin and you want to gently cleanse your skin because you are using your hands and um, you don't want to be so rough with your skin and after that you want to grab your favorite toner and spray your face the toner that I use is Dermalogica's toner it's a multi-active toner so I spray it all over my face or you can use like a finishing spray, like a makeup finishing spray. You can spray that over your face. It's on your face just to freshen your face again. You want to grab your favorite moisturizer. So the moisturizer that I use is Active Moist from Dermalogica as well. And um, you also want to mix a little bit of your facial or your facial body um, sunscreen. This is Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen and it's not greasy so you want to try to get a non-greasy sunscreen. This is SPF 45 because your face is going to need that. Mix these two together, a little bit of this and a lot more of this. Mix it together and rub it all over your, your face, your neck, around your ears. We're, we're adding the sunscreen into your moisturizer if it doesn't have one already um, because it helps with the sun rays even though the sun isn't out you're still outside so you're still prone to the elements like you're still out there and can be your face can be attacked by the elements so you still want to block your skin and this is a sunscreen is topical so that will help block anything that happens that can happen to your skin by the weather or by the sun however the case may be no never please never get that ratchet at all don't get that ratchet please when you wear your makeup you're wearing your makeup or you put on all this stuff like um a matte primer um pore filler and all that stuff is to set your face so your face is being set and it's not it's not breathing, although some of the products may say it's breathable, it's still not breathing with all the other stuff you put on it to set your face. So you need to let your skin breathe. So in order to do that, you have to wash your face. And if you don't wash your face, your 
you're clogging your pores and it's not healthy for your skin you start to break out if you're wondering why you break out and you wear makeup to sleep that is your reason why so you don't want to wear makeup to sleep you had it on all day or even for a few hours you trying to keep makeup for the next day to not so you don't have to um, make your face up again <laughs> for the next day please don't do that get up early enough redo your face or make your face up and then go on with your day don't sleep with your makeup on because you're you're hurting your skin rather than helping your skin out go wash your face that is all my tips for the day and i hope you enjoyed that i know i like doing the quick tips with you it's something that you can grasp and move on with your day and whatever the case may be depending on the time of day you may be getting this late at night and that's also good <laughs> So anywho, if you like to see more of these view tips, just go ahead and like this video and subscribe. All right, peace.